That's all you need. And you'll show the screen. I, to, to make sure this is as fair as possible, uh, had a moderator okay. pre-create all of the... Usually we just decide them on the fly. And we can still do that if you have any funny ideas. But I had them pre-create some good ones that I haven't seen yet so that we can just go in blind and, uh, and have fun actual vetted. Sometimes they're really easy. Oh, also one more rule just while we're on the subject. Yeah, yeah. Um, as you may know, as I'm sure you know, the Marvel Cinematic Universe has captured every actor in Hollywood. Right. No, no MCU, actor. huh? Yeah. Oh, okay. We have a no MCU rule because it kind of ruined the game. Everyone would just go to the nearest, get to Endgame, and you have half of the working actors today. I never and thought then, about that, but that makes yeah, sense. It, it broke the game. So, um, so, uh, let, so let, let me just say, like, so, so for like a, a, for me doing the flow chart, let's say we started when we said, like, we got to get from. For an example. Right now, just pick, pick two things. Okay, what if we had to go oh. from from Jessica Biel? Is it actor to actor or actor to movie, movie to movie? Anything. Actor to movie, you can do actor to director. We just pick any two things in Hollywood. The idea is to make it kind of difficult. Like there shouldn't have an easy. Okay, connection. let's let's try to go from Jessica Biel to okay. Steven Spielberg. Perfect. So I would type okay. Jessica Biel into the search bar. Yeah. You start out on Jessica Biel's IMDb page. Okay. Then you go down to um, actress credits, basically where you can see all our movies. Okay. And that's where you can pick from. So, you know, you're going to try and pick, maybe I'll pick uh, Blade Trinity. Because you know? it's a star-studded cast, yeah. <laughs> yeah, star-studded cast. I, on the I other mean, hand, am going to pick her okay. uh, one appearance as Jessica Rabbit on Saturday Night Live. And then use that to find um, Harrison. F oh, no, this is impossible. This was way stupid. Yeah. Well, that's the Ludwig strategy. He literally always goes to Saturday Night Live and then scrolls until he finds it because mm. everyone's been on there. I do think we may have to put a rule against that. It's fine with Ludwig, but if you're good at it, it's actually broken. Uh, you try it right now. Try it for now. Just see how it goes. All right. So okay. I'm on, you know, I'm on Blade Trinity, and you're saying Steven Spielberg. I'm trying to think who's in a Spielberg movie. Uh, um, who of this cast? Not Wesley Snipes. Probably not. Probably not. Maybe Ryan Reynolds has done something adjacent to Spielberg. So I'll pick Ryan Reynolds. Then I have to go through his. Then I'm trying to find a movie that he was in. Um, this would help if I had a Spielberg movie in mind that I wanted to go to. Um, say your favorite Spielberg movie on three. Mm. One, two, three. <laughs> uh, maybe Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Yeah, Close maybe? Encounters is what I was thinking about. Okay. I can't think of anybody in that. I can't think of anybody in that. Uh, so, Richard Dreyfus. Oh, and then, God damn, I'm going to lose this so hard. I don't know. I'm still getting my sea legs here. I'm also I'm using okay. Microsoft Edge. I'm like, I don't even know what I'm doing with this. That's good. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, I'm trying to... Uh, okay. I am searching now. So you no. can use the search bar. You don't just have to use the. No, okay, that would be too easy. No, you can't. You can only just click down in what the and it has to be their top thing. So, um, if I'm on Ryan Reynolds, he's also produced or whatever. You just go to actor. It's his top thing is actor. Okay, all right. You click that. It has always his features and then. Um. Yeah. The idea is to make it as close to like Kevin Bacon style as possible. All right. So uh, I, I thought this would be quick, but actually, it's it's quite difficult. No, some of them take. We did one to like um, Manhattan or something, and it it, it we could not. It took forever. We just we didn't get there. I'm. Oh wait, wait, wait. Is Sam Shepard? Oh, you also can't go back. You can't so use you the have, back button. Okay. No back. Then <laughs> you're, you're locked. It, that's one of the funniest parts is if you click something stupid and you're stuck in a. I I think I've found my my line. Okay. Well, I think yeah, I, you're it? okay. Are you ready for this? Yeah, yeah. So when you're done, you just hit the time. Uh, stop your timer. And then uh, announce it in Discord. We'll be both like deafened or muted, but not deafened. And then. Uh, okay, why, you ready for. I, I can just tell you I can walk this out, yeah. okay? Because uh, I, I, I haven't clicked on it yet, but I can give you my line. Well, you figured out your line in your mind? Okay, all right. I, I was, you're right. I got a little too excited. I know exactly where I'm going here. 
I'm scrolling. I, well, I, I, I have C all on, uh, on, oh, because I got to stay in his acting credits. That's what, you got to get there, dude. Oh, you okay. Gotta, okay, sorry. I just, okay, wait. I'm, I'm going to start grinding here. I wasn't even clicking. Okay, wait, 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 wait. wait. I need to see I, all. I, I need to take it I back further. How did I, I end up on Will, on Will Ferrell Producer? You're, wait, you're choking. <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a That's minute. That's okay, because then we can click, when we end up on producer, we can then click on anchor man and then we can do top cast. Yeah. Excuse yeah. me, don't give me these advertisements. Now hey, I'm now I'm on I, I I'm on a new women's wear website. Okay. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold the phone, dude. I I was stopping because I thought I was done. And it turns out you're you're floundering. I'm I'm accidentally clicking on Amazon. Get off to get this personalized skincare solution off the screen, please. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I can do this. Wait, wait, wait. I, I'm on I do. I have to. Oh. I have to call timeout just for a moment. You have to timeout. Okay. Why? Why when I click on Will Ferrell in Top Cast yeah. is it constantly giving me producer? Why is is he a producer before anything else? You he's an actor. You can. I, 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 do I have to? How how do I pivot to his acting? Uh, uh, I assume if you scroll down beneath, oh, you click it's... click X on the tags. X on the tags. Okay, I don't. I'm I'm more of a Wikipedia guy, so this is this is new to me. Uh, yeah, we can show Wikipedia race later too. But I'd love you know this is the one that I think you're gonna once you get the mechanics down, you're gonna crush at. And so I'm excited to see um, some of the lines. Because again, when I deal with Ludwig, it's literally like I'm gonna go to SNL or Marvel every time. <laughs> right. To, yeah. Yeah. You know, it's like we have to try to expand what's possible with this thing i mean what I, would you say no don't even never mind i just i thought they've worked together wait I I'll, dude i'm on a movie that i know features steven spielberg and then he's not here because i there's yeah. no there's no cast button to expand yeah. to cameos that is tough that's tough for you is that that's not something you can work with Wait, I, I, if you can't, you have to get to his page, you know. Can I click, if, if I'm on a page, if I click top cast, it'll pull out the whole cast. Am I then capable of going into that and, and scrolling down? You're on a page of a movie, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 If, if he's in the movie and you scroll down the cast, yes, you can expand mm -hmm. or whatever, whatever. I'm calling, you time. know, I've, I've, I've completed okay. my, okay. My, I want to only open up what you got and let me <laughs> see. Okay. It was. It was Blade Trinity. Okay. A cast member from Blade Trinity was Patton Oswalt. Okay. Hold on. I got to use my, my back button a little bit here to see where I, but it's going to reroll all the ads as well. Oh, 0, 0.00 time. That's I incredible. didn't run the time. I got a lot going on here. I need to find like a Microsoft uh, Edge <laughs> ad block extension or something. I got to. Holy shit. That's incredible. Okay. I'm hold on. I'm I'm almost back at Patton Oswald. Okay. I I saw the line a little bit in the Patton Oswald. So I was I think I wouldn't Why Microsoft Edge? <laughs> Chrome has been slow as molasses for me. For whatever reason. I didn't want it to compromise the the times here. Integrity okay. of the game. I appreciate that. So check this out. You ready? Okay. It was Blade Trinity. Okay. Patton Oswald. Okay. Who, who was in Zoolander? Apparently, okay. I didn't know that, but I found it. I didn't uh, remember that. Who, which obviously had Will Ferrell as Mugatu, yep. which Will Man. Will Ferrell was in Anchorman, um, and then wait a minute, how did I how did I end up here? Anchorman I went from Austin Powers. I went from Anchorman to Austin. Oh, because Will Ferrell, sorry, Will Ferrell in Anchorman. I had to click on the producer credit. I went back to Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell was in Austin Powers okay. too as um, okay. Fez. Uh, okay. And then Mike Myers, of course, was Austin Powers, who was in Goldmember, where Steven Spielberg has a cameo as himself at the end of the movie. <laughs> Actually, if you know Goldmember like I do, it's the beginning of the movie. Um, he's doing the opening dance sequence. You're absolutely, it is, actually. That's my mistake. <laughs> you got me on that one. Uh, the only thing I would say is you use Will Ferrell as producer and actor. You would need to pick one. I'm that's I, I it's an IMDb interface uh thing I was trying to work my way through. That's I'm glad I'm glad we did a uh, a practice round. Maybe <laughs> a real battle of the minds going on. Here. Maybe I'll just load that up in Chrome. Maybe I'll just accept it running at uh at 2 right. frames per second. Uh you well, ever, Firefox. 
or or Firefox, that- yeah. You you ever have uh, so many problems with your computer that um, Chrome doesn't run well for you, <laughs> or is that every is single that, stream? Is that life. oh okay? So it's not just me. This is a very common theme of my stream. I keep the thing is I don't close tabs. Ah, uh, at all. I'm like a 500 plus tabs kind of person, and it 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 causes big. Like sometimes I'll close Chrome and it'll crash my stream. So I'm um, really I'm in a different category. Yeah, no, I'll have too many tabs open, and then my whole computer freezes when I try to close it. I have like so four tabs, open. and it's even that is is not working for me. Yeah, it's some, something's wrong. I just feel like I think I have a thing where if I close a tab, I'll lose whatever thing. I don't know. I feel like it's like almost like I'm offloading my memory. So I just, okay, yeah, I understand that. Cool idea. I, I leave it there, and then I, I assume I'll come back to it, but I never really do. Okay, um, I, I yeah. actually think. I'm prepared. I think you get it now. Yeah. Okay. In that case, I am going to scroll in my moderator's chat. I'm going to find these amazing things they made for us. They have ranked them by easy, medium, and hard. So we'll start with an easy one. Okay. Um, have you seen all the drama? Not the drama, but have you seen the PR offensive that? Uh, the rock is doing to make it seem like black adam was a real big profitable success i have yeah i i thought it was a little weird that like an actor was tweeting to his fans that his movie is making money as if they should care but maybe that's just uh, i guess people are interested in the success of the dc universe so that makes sense uh, he has a very personal stake in letting everyone know that he made millions of dollars on it which is a thing I haven't seen. Like it's like it's pretty new. It is new. Uh, yeah, I would agree with yeah, that. Yeah, this whole Kevin Hart rock style of like their business success is the fan success. Um, but uh, yeah, he's been really he, he really laid into IGN for comparing the box office to um to Black Panther. He was really <laughs> mad about that. Well, he doesn't uh, seem okay. like he's busy, so I'm glad he found something to fill his time. By his time, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's good. Uh, all right, so we're gonna speaking of that, we're gonna start with Black Adam. Okay. Our beginning movie. See, that's okay. scary for me. I, I I only know one cast member. Uh, and DC Universe is allowed because no one's in it. Right. And Fair enough. Not go to Marvel. <laughs> and the target will be the social network. It's an easy one. So we're just gonna go with social network. Um, Aaron Sorkin film. You know it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that's the goal. So uh, when I say three, two, one, we you should have your button on mute. Okay, yeah, I, we, I need to get, generate a mute hotkey. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Um, let me try this. Can you hear yeah. me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Do you swear on your stream? Uh, yeah. Okay, because I was going to say the F word right there. Yeah. Me... Well, actually, let's see. I mean, my, my chat's pretty. Voice and video. Yeah, um, they're, they're capital D coloning. Hot key binds. Toggle mute is on delete. All right. What do you use as your as your hotkey? I'm clicking it. I'm just have Discord open and I'm clicking the mute button. That's a lot of my name. That's a lot of clicking for me. All right. Well, you know what? I could I could do that. I can make that happen. All right. All right. All right. I I, I think I'm ready. The thing, thing is, you're gonna have to do two things at once. Because so I can I'm do this. Start to... the timer. It, timer. Yeah. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Okay. So yeah, uh, I'm going to say three, two, one. <clears throat> then we mute. Then we both start the timer, and then when you're done, just unmute and say ding, 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 or whatever. Okay, just, okay. Just done. I can do that. All right. Black Adam Social Network, here we go. Three, two, one. I know what I'm doing on this one. I'm sorry I'm so slow. We'll be going Black Adam. We'll be finding our way through this to get to um, Henry Cavill, who was in... Maybe there was a cameo or something in this. Henry Cavill was in The Man from Uncle with Army Hammer, who was in The Social Network. So I'm looking for someone that was in a Henry Cavill movie. And I'm, I've gone too far, unless Viola Davis was in Suicide Squad, which is a DC film that must have also featured... Henry Cavill, trying to get to the social network. Henry Cavill, Henry Cavill, 
was in Batman, Batman versus Superman. Hold on. Jared Leto, as an actor, was in... <laughs> I'm, I'm lost. Was he not in Batman? No, he was in... Su but he was in Batman versus Superman. No. Wait, we, we, Jesse Eisenberg. We get to Jesse Eisenberg from here. Jesse Eisenberg obviously was in The Social Network. Jesse Eisenberg was not in any of these. Jared Leto was in Lord of War, with Nicolas Cage, who was with... I don't know if he was with Jesse Eisenberg. I think I shouldn't have clicked on that one. Now I've gone too far. Can we go back by clicking on this? I'm going to say that the answer must be yes in that case. Give me Jared Leto. We're trying to get to Henry Cavill. Jack, Zack Snyder's Justice League. He's upcoming. I don't know if... Oh, no, that's definitely obviously out. With Henry Cavill, who was then in The Man from Uncle, with Army Hammer who was in the social network, I call time. I don't know how to stop my live split. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Dude, wait, this is not my normal skill level. I'm... I swear to God, there's pressure or something. You, you hype me up with your backstory and you're fucking <laughs> talking about Blade. I literally am playing... Okay, all right. How, how did you do it? I would love to hear your line. So I don't want to be too boastful. Yeah. But okay. I, I called my line 75% before I took the first click. So I said, I said Black Adam is a DC Universe movie. Okay. Which would have uh, Henry Cavill somewhere in it. Henry Cavill and Army Hammer were together in The Man from Uncle, and Army Hammer was one of the Winklevoss yes, twins in yes, the social network. Yes, that's a good line. But that's not exactly how it ended up going. Wait, how did that not work? It, it, it I I didn't know that Henry Cavill was actually in Black Adam. So I took a more circuitous path. It went oh. You can see all my browser history. You can see that I looked up Tomcats recently. <laughs> the, the Jerry O'Connell movie where they have a, a pact where the last Ooh, friend to get married uh, gets all the money. Yeah, I've seen Tomcats. <laughs> have you seen it uh, recently? Because I saw it like two weeks ago, I think. Um, <laughs> 2001, okay. I was sneaking away from my parents. <laughs> okay, so uh, I went Black Adam. I scrolled, apparently I scrolled past Henry Cavill. And then I found uh, Viola Davis, who I knew was in Suicide Squad, though I had not seen it. Okay. okay. That then took me to Jared Leto, because I was trying to get a Joker to Batman or Superman connection. Then I ended up on Nicolas Cage, and I got very confused, because I was like, maybe he's been in something with Nicolas Cage. Then I think I went back to Jared Leto's page, not using the back button, but by clicking. Then I went from Jared Leto to Zack Snyder's Justice League, which has Henry Cavill as Superman. Clicked on The Man from Uncle, which he was in, which then had Army Hammer, um, mm. of course, as his co star, and then The Social Network. Mm -hmm. That tracks. Can I be honest with you? Yeah. I thought that um, Jason Statham okay. and Woody Harrelson. Were the same person in my mind. They are, and I was they're just, trying to go. Yeah, they're, they're from so across similar. the pond, yeah. And I wanted to get to now. You see me with Jesse Eisenberg, oh. and so I was. I got to Jason Statham, and I realized very quickly he's not Woody Harrelson. Of course not. And uh, and I made a mistake. So, so oh, Jesse is Lex Luthor. Yeah, I think really? there were there, there were multiple crazy, connections bro. here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. You know, I'm warming up. I'm warming up. I'm warming up. That was that was a warm up game, but it is your first point. I'll take that. Uh, so Northern Line currently with one. Up. Usually we go first to four or first to five. It depends if it's close. Okay. We'll um, I, 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 I I've it, it when I told the story of how I found it, it, it seemed so clean. While I was doing it, I was very frantic. I was I felt like I was lost. I uh, I felt like when, once I got in that Nicolas Cage hole, I thought there was no way for me to get myself out. If you ever click into anything relating to like, I don't know, a Disney cartoon or something, you cost mm. you get caught in a loop of actors and people that have never left. <laughs> <laughs> it is a dark hole they can't escape, and you can't you can't get out of it. Um, okay, here we go. We're gonna go to here's here's, here's part two. 
Do you know the 1985 movie Teen Wolf? Uh, I, I know how to spell it. All right. Well, then that's where we're starting. Teen Wolf, 1985. Teen Wolf. There's been many Teen oh, Wolf. Oh, yes. Recreations. Okay, I see it. Teen Wolf, 1985. This is the Michael J. Fox, I think, original version. I didn't and know that there were so many. Holy cow. Teen Wolf to Wolf of Wall Street. Okay. It's a wolf-based attack here. Mm -hmm. I can understand that. So, if you are ready, we will do the same thing. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Here we go. I'm pumped up this time. I'm ready to go. Good luck. Three, two, one. Okay. I am thinking that Michael J. Fox was in The Frighteners with Peter Jackson, and that's our jumping off point. So from here, we go Michael J. Fox. We scroll down to The Frighteners in like 1996 or something. The Frighteners is directed by Peter Jackson. And then I'm thinking, we're trying to get to the Wolf of Wall Street. We're looking for a famous American actor, which has me... Wait, well, we're on Peter Jackson. We don't necessarily have to go. Wolf of Wall Street, Wolf of Wall Street. The Lovely Bones was an American movie he made that has Jennifer Lawrence in it. No, Rachel Weisz, Wolf of Wall Street. The Wolf of Wall Street. Mark Wahlberg was with Leonardo DiCaprio in The Departed. who was in The Wolf of Wall Street, which was, must be one of his most popular. Time. Time. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> I found the line. <laughs> what was your line, sir? Okay, my line was, I know nothing about Teen Wolf. Okay. Yes. But I know that it stars Michael J. Fox. Yes. So of I thought, how am I going to get from Michael J. Fox to other actors uh, mm -hmm. or other movies? And I know yes. that in 1996 he did um, The Frighteners, which was directed by Peter Jackson. Obviously, who doesn't know that? Then from Peter Jackson. Originally, I was going to go Lord of the Rings, but then I was like, I got to find like American actors. So I clicked on um, The Lovely Bones. Was that what that was, Chet? The Lovely Bones okay. had Mark Wahlberg as a, a member of the cast. Mark Wahlberg okay. was in The Departed. Leonardo DiCaprio was in The Departed. Leonardo DiCaprio was in The Wolf Departed. of Wall Street. I was trying to get to Leo. How I ended up at, did, Do you think Bruce Willis and Leonardo DiCaprio ever worked together? In your no, mind. Here's, here's my connection. Bruce Willis was in Looper with Joseph Gordon-Levitt, who was co-starred in Inception. I think... I think that's as good as you can get. But I don't that's just my guess. Okay. Motherfucker. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's win the easy ones. You know, all right. The fucking gloves are off. Okay. Brother. All right. I'm I'm cranking it up. We're gonna now go to the mediums. I'm and ready. This is ahem. This is Okay. The room. Okay, yeah. You know that's okay, tough. The room. Tell me why, Zoe. Yeah. We're starting with The Room. Very familiar with this movie, but it, it's going to be hard to connect it to any, <laughs> any anything else. And they have selected um, Big Daddy All right, okay. by Adam Sandler. Um, so did, I think there's a need for a, a, a question here. You can yeah. only click on, like, cast or director or producer. Like... Because I'm sure that if I, the room has more like this, which then has some movies related that might allow you to get out of outsider cinema into Hollywood. Yeah, you can't do more to explore. No, it needs to be like for a movie, it should be cast. Okay. And for an actor, it should be the films they're in. That, that should be it. Like it should be the top. Um, nothing on the side. Hi, no. Hey, honey. Yeah. You okay? Sorry, my, my daughter's in here. She's saying, Daddy, I was watching TV. You okay? Yeah. yeah. Why, are you, why are you so out of breath, honey? You didn't watch Tomcat with her, did you? No, I did, oh, I did not watch Tomcat with her. <laughs> oh, honey, we can't go outside right now. It's so cold. Can I put my shoes on and go outside? I'll tell you what, when Daddy is done today, we can go for a nice walk. If you can wait just a little bit, Daddy will blow some bubbles with you, okay? 
<laughs> I think she's she's content. Gone. She's gone. She she didn't like that answer. <laughs> oh, and there go the bubbles. <laughs> all right, all right. So from the room to uh, the big daddy, to Big Daddy. Okay, okay. Is that does that usually work? The we'll blow bubbles later is like a good. Well, yeah. It, is, that, is that placator? Sometimes. Sometimes you or just got to distract wide. her with something else. You got to be like, <laughs> you know, we'll blow bubbles later. And hey, check out this like action figure I got on my desk or something. And then that'll for like two hours. Once that'll keep her busy. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. I'm taking notes, dude. We're, I'm not too far <laughs> off. Um, okay. The room to Big Daddy. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Count, how about count down. this time you count it down. Okay. All right. Oh, wow, I'm even more on the button. All <laughs> okay. Right? Three, two, one, good luck. I'm going to say that Greg Sestero from The Room had a cameo in The Disaster Artist, which stars Seth Rogen, who was in Funny People with Adam Sandler in about 2009. Oh, I'm on I'm producer. Funny people stars Adam Sandler. Oh, who was known for Big Daddy from like 1998. That would be time. Ding, 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 ding. Dude, dude, dude. Oh, I wasn't even showing my screen. <laughs> okay, what was your line on that one? I think that was the closest I've been. That one? Uh, I, I thought there was only there was only one path. Okay. Um, I From the room, I clicked on Greg Sestero, who played Mark, okay. who I assumed must have had a cameo in The Disaster Artist because he wrote the book and was also in the movie. How did you tell me why so? That was my same rap. Okay, the yeah. And then from there, I went to Seth Rogen, who, I kn who was in The Disaster Artist and starred with Adam Sandler in Funny People. And from Adam Sandler, I went to Big Daddy. Dude, you're good at this. What did you you're do? You're just straight up good at this. <laughs> Holy moly. I'm on, I am literally on Seth Rogen, but I didn't, funny people didn't jump to mine, dude. Mm, I, I don't know how else you could do it. Um, I just assumed that Seth Rogen and Adam Sandler have crossed paths in some time, but I didn't have a, there's no line in my head. Right. I'm trying um, to, you know what's crazy? I, my line worked, obviously. I'm trying to think of a second line, and I, I don't know if I can get there. Um, there's got to be. I mean, there's just got to be a slow, but this is like the, you, you kind of figured out the cleanest line, I feel like. Seth Rogen was in This Is The End, which starred every comedian in Hollywood. There must be an extra connection to Adam Sandler That's, there somewhere. Yeah, that was sort of my my original thought, but I don't know who like of these people who's done a movie with Adam Sandler that I can think of. Paul Rudd probably. Um but I'm, I can't I'm not picturing it. I'm running it through in my head. You know what? Let yeah, me let me go to let me go to Paul Rudd real quick. <laughs> I'm looking at Paul Rudd and I'm thinking where is Sam? Oh, they're right, but you can't use Ant Man because it's a Marvel Cinematic Universe no, film. So, <laughs> uh, no, I don't, I don't know. Paul Rudd Paul. was in. Ah, Paul Rudd was in the Forty Year Old Virgin with Seth Rogen, who starred with Adam Sandler in Funny People. There you. <laughs> as long as long as you got yeah. funny people in front of mind, you can get there. Yeah, that's what you really need is that funny people connection. Okay, all right. All right, so now you're what? You're two o, three o. I didn't. I don't want to say because now it seems braggadocious. By the way, I'm on Paul Rudd's uh, IMDb page. I love seeing user lists. Actors with zero fame. This list is just called dudes. This list is just called me, and it's a picture of of Paul Rudd. What what are people doing on uh, on IMDb? Wait, uh, they're. There's a lot of famous people on this list. I'm looking at let's You're looking at zero Leonardo fames? Fame. Yeah, I'm looking at zero fames. What what could he possibly mean? Ryan Reynolds, zero fames. Chris Hemsworth, Samuel L. Jackson, <laughs> Gabriel, <laughs> Morgan Freeman. Zero fame? What's his bar? What is this? Tom Cruise? Oh, is on this man. list? That is great. Uh, That's this funny. guy's got a high bar for famous. Holy cow. Uh okay. Listen. 
we're gonna do this till I win one. <laughs> sure, yeah. So I want you to know that I'm picking up steam. It could be I this next one. This could and probably will be the next one. You just gotta remember, yeah. uh, funny people. It's a big one. I'm jumping right into the hard mode. Okay, we have four hard ones on here, and they've all been connected in some kind of unique way. Mm, okay. Um, this one is Adam West, Batman. Yeah, yeah. To Kanye West. <laughs> no, 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 no. I can't so, even... See, that is yeah. very hard. Yes, we've gone to the hard ones because I want there to be a little bit of a... a uh, it's tough to make the line in your head instantly. Yeah. Uh, which you have been shown uh, an insane aptitude for. All um, right, this, okay. is, this is a tough one. Adam West to Kanye West. I will count us down. Okay. Right now. Three, two, one, good luck. So, chat, I honestly have no idea because I can't find an end point. I don't know a movie that Kanye West is in, but he must have a cameo in something. Maybe we could try to find our way to a documentary that they've both, uh, that, that Kanye West has been in with another actor. That's what I'm thinking. So, I'm, we got to start on Adam West. He was Batman. And then the first thing I'm going to try to do is just get to the modern day. Maybe just throw me in the Chicken Little real quick, okay? So I'm in Chicken Little. And I'm thinking, how am I going to... How am I going to get to like... I, I just... Not knowing an endpoint is real bad here. From this, Patrick Stewart has been in recent movies. Patrick Stewart has been in Green Room. I don't know. Something about Green Room is just speaking to me. Is it possible that Kanye West was a voice in an animated film? Could he possibly be in Family Guy, The Quest for Stuff? Could he Wait, The Daily Show and then scrolling until we find him as a guest? No, that's going to take too long. Same thing with The Simpsons, I think. Let me get Ted out here real quick. Okay, I don't, know, I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm lost. I could find my way to a music video director. If I could find my way to Hype Williams, I could get, I could get to Kanye West. All I need to do is find my way to Hype Williams. Mark Wahlberg was in... Uh, he was the brother of Donnie Wahlberg, who was in New Kids on the Block, but I can't click on, on like, just brother... Wall Street, executive producer. Perhaps at some point, Mark Wahlberg calls Kanye West. He, Damon John, the inventor of FUBU, might have been in a documentary known for Shark Tank, which features Kanye West. He was in Billions with Kanye West. He was in a College Humor original with Kanye West. He was in The Crow, Wicked, Wicked Prayer with Kanye West. He was in... Founding FUBU, the podcast series? I don't think I could do that, man. That's like, what if I could get lost in here. This is a pit. I, got, I think we got to go billions and then see where we go from here, okay? I mean, Damon John, I felt like that was our, our best chance. Now I'm out here with Paul Giamatti. There's no way Paul Giamatti and, and Kanye West have ever been at the same thing. Okay, I'm going Malin Ackerman, who was in Watchmen. which might allow us to get a connection to Kanye West somewhere. Somewhere. I don't know how. I hadn't, I mean, I don't know, because I don't know where I'm going is the, is the problem. I don't have an end point, so I'm just clicking, man. I'm just clicking. I'm lost. Um... I'm I'm thinking. Okay, let me hear me out. Billy Crudup was in Big Fish, which also has Danny DeVito, and it seems like he's the kind of guy that could have done something with um, Kanye West at some point. I don't know what it would have been, but maybe we'll just scroll and we'll take a look here. Okay, like maybe I'm like <laughs> Batman Returns. Um, no, I don't think Mike Michael Keaton, Kanye West, Discord the movie, The Survivor, last week tonight with John Oliver. I mean, it seems likely to me that Kanye West was probably covered on that. You know what? I bet we can find our way out of here. Or somebody close to Kanye West, perhaps. 
somebody close to Kanye West? Perhaps on the Chappelle show, but I can't click more like this. But if I could get to Dave Chappelle, I could get the Chappelle show, which would have Kanye West on it. I got to get to Dave Chappelle. Okay, it, it can be done. It can, and I can't use the back button. It can be done. Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. Surely we can go Gilbert Gottfried into Aladdin? Into, like, Robin Williams? Into modern movies? Like maybe Night at the Museum, Secret of the Tomb? No. Finally! Yes, dude! Yes! Put one on the board! Yes! I, I had hey. just started to, to get on the line. It took a lot of digging to get there. I got lucky, dude. I was freaking out. Yeah. I was having a meltdown. I'll be honest with you. I had a line because from minute one, I knew there is a music video Featuring right. Jay Z, Kanye West, and Aziz Ansari. Okay. Are you aware yeah. of that one? Uh, I'm not. Okay, I wanted to get to Aziz Ansari, but I couldn't, for whatever reason, get to Aziz Ansari, so I got very lucky. I'll tell you my line, all right? I, God damn, this is a long, <laughs> rambling. This is a rambling. I made, line, I probably right? made 500 clicks. Yeah, I was clicking around. All right, I'm going to tell you, I'm just going to go fast on this. Uh, Adam West to Drop Dead Gorgeous to Kristen Dunst to Spider Man to Willem Dafoe, to Motherless Brooklyn, to Alec Baldwin, to Mission Impossible Fallout, to Simon <laughs> Pegg, to Ice Age, Adventures of Buck Wild, to Simon Pegg again, to Star Trek, to Chris Pine, to Wonder Woman, to Gal Gadot, to Furious oh 7, my God. to The Rock, to Free Guy, to Lil Rel Howery, to Get Out, to Jordan Peele, back to Get Out, to Allison Williams, <laughs> to The Mindy Project, to, to Mindy Kaling, and then Mindy Kaling, for whatever reason, was in a Jay-Z Feet Beyonce Family Feud music video in 2017. Dude. And that was high up. That is crazy. <laughs> Check this out. I don't even remember how I got started, but I know that I went Adam West, like most recent movie, and went into Chicken Little, which was a vo <laughs> an animated picture. So I, the most yeah. recent one I got in my list here is I had Ted, then I went Mark Wahlberg, then Mark right. Wahlberg's HBO Max show, Wall Street, where he pretends that he's like a struggling business owner. Because um, I figured from there, we could maybe get to somebody in Kanye West's sphere. Then I yeah. found Damon John, the, one of the sharks from Shark Tank. Yeah, the shark. Yeah. Then, I, then I got lost. Then I was in Billions, Malin Ackerman, Watchmen, Billy Crudup, Big Fish, Danny DeVito took me to Last Week Tonight with John Oliver. I thought maybe I could get lucky there. Pivoted to Gilbert Gottfried, went to Aladdin, went to Robin Williams. And that's when I realized if I could just get to Dave Chappelle, I know that Kanye West had been on Chappelle's show. Yes. And, I, and that's, that's about when you, when you dinged. But I, okay. I, I had no end point in, in mind for the whole thing. So I was. I like the <laughs> idea of pivoting to Gilbert Gottfried to get to Kanye West. I knew that I, I was like, as soon as I saw Gilbert Gottfried, I was like, I can go. Aladdin, Robin Williams, and then everybody on earth is, has been in a Robin Williams movie at some point. But Apparently, the cleanest line I'm hearing from chat is okay. Adam West to Family Guy to Seth MacFarlane to Cleveland Show to Kanye West. Wow. That's I, a five-clicker. So, that's, that's tough. Amazing. That is very Would tough. Never have, never have seen that. <laughs> oh, Anchorman 2? Was Kanye in Anchorman 2? Apparently, he has a cameo in Anchorman 2. Uh, that would have also clutched. Okay. Uh... Oh, also, James Franco is in Spider-Man, which would get you to Aziz Ansari. James Franco and Aziz Ansari, very close. Uh, okay, well, there you go. Um, you worked for that yeah. one. That's like... I worked for that one. That was, that was, I was clicking frantically. I was, just, <laughs> I was desperate. Thank God it took a thumb. All right, so I got a point on the board. Three to one. I am in a, a pretty terrible position, but we have a couple more hard ones coming up. Send it. This one is um, something we can all agree with. It's Pokimane. <laughs> who has very small Hollywood right. credits to his name, but is on IMDb. Uh, Pokimane to The Queen, 2006. The Queen, okay. Now, I don't know this film. I, I know an actress in it. Okay. Um, I, this is a tough one for me, moderators, because I literally, zero clicks. 
<laughs> if the <laughs> actress start? is wrong, though, I'm scared. Because I'm like, yeah. Yeah, anyway, whatever. Um, it's... I'm gonna have to think about this. I don't. I really don't know anything about this movie. I can't. I can't. But I'll. I'll. I'll take a take a run. So here we go. Um. All right. Three, two, one. Good luck. All right. Now I'm freaking because I think the queen is Helen Mirren. But now I'm realizing that might be a different queen. Maybe it's actually Kate Blanchett or Tilda Swinton. But I don't know. Anyway, I'm on Pokemon's IMDb page. We're obviously starting on Free Guy, where I'm assuming then the play. As I see it, oh my God, Aaron Reed. We're going Ryan Reynolds, who's been in everything. I'm trying to get to like Bruce Willis. He's been in too much. You've been in too much. There's no way that Bruce, okay, Bruce Willis, we go fast in the way. Ryan Reynolds is ET on direct. Oh, it's a guy, okay. We, this takes us to Jason Statham which takes us to Bruce Willis via an Expendables movie. I'm going to say Expendables 2. Bruce Willis right there, which then takes us to Red from about 2009, 2010, which stars Helen Mirren, who may have played the queen in 2006. Oh, dude! Ding, 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 ding. That's insane. That's insane. How, what, what is, wait, what was your line? I knew that the actress from The Queen was Helen Mirren. Oh, nice. So then I, I figured out how we're going to get the connection. So I went, okay. Pokemane, I'm sure you did the same thing. Free guy. Oh. No, I went Pokemane, and I, here I'm at, I'm at Jacksepticeye. Oh. <laughs> What is that? Dude, this one um, click? I got fucking <laughs> Rambo and the Minecraft kids for 50 clicks. Uh, but please continue. So you, okay. you're on Free Guy. Free Guy. Um, Ryan Reynolds. Hold yeah. on. I got to scroll down. I, I lost myself on this one. I, w I, went to, I was trying to get to Bruce Willis because I know that Bruce Willis was in red with Helen Mirren in like 2009. So I went uh, Ryan Reynolds. He, oh, I just scrolled through his filmography, which has a movie every two seconds, uh, or every uh, two months, I should say. I found yep. uh, he was in Hobbs and Shaw, the Fast and Furious movie, which I did not know. I knew that that could take me to Jason Statham, and from Jason Statham to Bruce Willis, you just got to travel through an Expendables movie. That, sure. got, that got me to Bruce Willis, which got me to Red, which got me to Helen Mirren, which got me to The Queen. That was a good arm. That was, I honestly, I got scared uh, halfway through though, because there's been so many movies about so many queens that I didn't realize. Uh, I, I was worried that maybe the queen was not about Queen Elizabeth and it was actually about, um, you know, Queen Elizabeth I or, you know, I don't know, Queen Mary, Queen of Scots or something like that. I was getting, but anyway. You were getting sweaty. I'm sandbagging a little bit because it actually went really well. Um, have you seen this movie, The Queen with Helen Mirren? No. Okay. It so came out when it. I was 18 and it's a movie. A British documentary, well, uh, biopic, I guess. That wasn't what you were into. It wasn't what I was <laughs> into at the time. I, I was seeing snakes okay. on a plane. And I'm, I'm being told apparently Helen Mirren was just in Hobbs and Shaw, which I did not know because I've not seen that either. But uh, that would have saved me like was. five clicks. She plays Jason Statham's mom, I believe. Oh, Fast and Furious, Hobbs and Shaw. Madam oh. Hobbs. Madam Shaw? <laughs> yes, Madam <laughs> Shaw. <so. laughs> Uh, that's a clean line. That's that's a pretty impressive line. I didn't even know this movie. I, I and unfortunately, there's almost. I mean, Michael Sheen's in it. I mean, you got um, no end point. Like, how are you supposed to structure yeah, I really yourself? Know, I didn't right? know the director. I didn't know. I, I was trying. Well, to, if you know nothing about the movie, what are you doing? Just clicking on actresses until eventually yeah, you see the movie. The Queen. Get around. I knew the year was 2006. So I was trying oh, to okay. <laughs> we were really active in 2006, but I just ended up on Jack Septica, so I didn't really have. It's a moot point. Uh, okay, here we go. Here's a good one. Um, oh, this will be this will be tough. I can't imagine how I'm going to do this one, but I will I will read it out. Uh, the Cold Ones podcast. I don't know if you're aware. Pretty big on. Right. Yeah. Okay. YouTube. Okay. That's how we're going to start. Um, do they even have a IMDb page? <laughs> um, <laughs> Cold Ones podcast. Yeah, they do. Okay. 
Is cold it one? It, show and pod. It's just called Cold Ones. Oh, I typed the Cold Ones podcast like a boomer. Cold Ones. Uh, I didn't. Really. <laughs> with with Chad Roberts and yes. okay, Chad Roberts and Max Stanley. Uh, and we're going from the Cold Ones podcast to Stone Cold Steve Austin. From from Stone, okay, to from Stone Cold Ones to Stone Cold. Okay, okay. Um, the moderators definitely got clever with. The- <laughs> I get <laughs> it. I have, yeah. no, I have no idea how I'm going to get to Stone Cold Steve Austin, but I will give it my damnedest. Um, when you're ready, why don't you count us down, and I'm just going to be ready All right. to go. Three, two, right. one, go. All right, I think we have to get back to Pokemane. <laughs> Sorry, I've started us off. I think we have to do the same route and then get to an Expendables movie. I think we have to find, like, this is PewDiePie. But they're not really from, like, the same era. Are you telling... Oh, oh man. More like... We can't click more like this. Um, okay, I'm going to try PewDiePie, who I'm sure was not in Free Guy, but... I'm in hell. I am in hell. Maybe Scare PewDiePie had another YouTuber in it. Oh, no. oh, it has Markiplier, who did the he, he was I saw him on In Space with Markiplier had Pokemon in it. Bro, top cast, top cast. Where's Pokemon? Okay, I need I need a yes or a no check. Can I click on this to go back? Can I click on Mark Fishback to go back? Is that legal? I'm seeing mostly yay, so I'm gonna take that. It must be in space with Markiplier part one that she was in, not part two. Bro, really? Really? Pokey. main Pokemon Anis. Okay. Known for Free Guy. With Ryan Reynolds. Who was in Hobbs and Shaw. With Jason Statham. Who I'm going to assume was in The Expendables 3 with Stone Cold Steve Austin because they had to keep making it go crazy. And then I'm going to scroll until I see Stone Cold Steve Austin. I'm going to forget this. We're on top cast. I don't. Rest of cast listed alphabetically. Okay, I'm going to assume that at some point Ronda Rousey. Yes! Ding, oh, ding, 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 ding. Let's the, go! Scared the crap Let's out go. of me. Let's <laughs> go! Oh, God, I got one. All oh, right. Oh, oh. Add them up. Rack them up. How'd you get there? Did you did, did you do the same thing uh, I did where I tried to find my way back to Pokemon? Found my way back to Jacksepticeye, which no. I just learned was also in Free Guy. Ah. So I did, I did PewDiePie. Um, me too, PewDiePie. weirdly enough. PewDiePie was on Cold Ones. So yes. PewDiePie gets me to Jacksepticeye, who was in Free Guy, Ryan Reynolds, Red Notice with The Rock, who's a wrestler. Oh, scrolled back in The Rock, so much found better. out he voiced himself in a wrestling video game, used that to get to a bunch of wrestlers, WWE Raw, eventually landed on Paul Levesque, who right. I think is Triple H. That's correct, yeah. Who ended up, uh, he was in something with Stone Cold Steve Austin, the bottom line. <laughs> Look, And uh, I got the Steve Austin from there. That was actually the shortest line I've had so far. Probably you, you did a better version of what I was trying to do. The way I figured it out, I was like, I, I'm pretty sure that Stone Cold has been in one of the Expendables movie. Uh, movies so i i just tried to find my way back to uh same route I've, yeah, yeah. Pokemon and- <laughs> so i went cold ones pewdiepie mm-hmm. uh mark fishback also known as markiplier in space with markiplier season two she's not on that so i clicked markiplier again in space with markiplier season one pokemon free guy ryan reynolds hobbs and shaw nice. jason statham and then nice. my fatal flaw mm. Expendables 3 does not have Stone Cold Steve Austin. Which one is he in? Expendables 1. <sighs> Ooh, that one hurt. That one hurt, dude. That's like thinking uh, Justin Timberlake was in Blade 3. It's, it's, it's like it's unforgivable. 
But then, then yeah. you you made me face palm as well because I was like, man, I could have just gone Hobbs and Shaw, The Rock, yeah, the and then rock. Stone Cold is like two clicks away somewhere. He's somewhere in there, the wrestling background. Okay, so if we're going first to five, you are on match point, but I have at least made it somewhat respectable. Four, two. No, absolutely. Okay. Two tough ones, okay. too. Um, and that brings us to our final hard one, and then we'll probably have to do an easy one to close out if I somehow win this one. Um, this is, so I don't know if you're aware, there was a pretty public, probably three years ago, rap beef between <laughs> Machine Gun Kelly, who no longer raps, right. and Eminem. Okay, I, I do remember. Okay, and so we're going to go from good morning, spelled morning like you are mourning for the loss of someone. Right, from this year. Uh, from this year, yeah. I've heard that this is uh, one of the worst movies of uh, 2022. <laughs> I've not seen it, but I've, I've heard that. I haven't seen it either. This might be a good stream watch. Uh, apparently, this movie, we need to connect to 8 Mile, Eminem's magnum opus. Okay. Uh, I think he won an Oscar. So, uh, Best original song, I think. Yes. Best movie about Detroit, 2001. <laughs> Specific category, but he nailed it. <laughs> uh, apparently, this is easy. Wait, why, is, why would this be easy? They're saying it's going to take 30 seconds. We're going to find out. So uh, I don't know. I, 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 they have this listed as hard. Um, but I'm down to try. All right? Okay. So I'm ready. On three, three, two, one. Good. I also think it might be easy just because I didn't realize this, but Good Morning has a star-studded cast. We're trying to get to eight mile. So I'm going to assume... May, uh, maybe I'm not as confident. I, I'm like, I'm going Tom Arnold. <laughs> Tom Arnold. Um, into movies from around that era. What's a star-studded movie with Tom Arnold in it that was around the same period? Wow, this he's been busy, man. Hmm. He's in ER. I'm sure we can make something work there. Into Soul Plane? How do I get to Mackay Pfeiffer? I got to get to Scary Movie 3. Kevin Hart, Mackay Pfeiffer's not in Scary Movie 3. Kevin Hart is in Scary Movie 3. Why am I going okay, to... This one actually was <laughs> easy. <laughs> this one was actually straightforward. I actually feel bad <laughs> including this. Uh, uh, don't, because I was trying to dive into Scary Movie 3. I think I got, I got lost in the, in the sauce a little bit. That one was actually. Oh wait, yeah. Was I, was it just uh, Machine Gun Kelly noteworthy for feud with Eminem? No, that would be insane. No, I, I. Well, maybe that probably exists. There's probably a one clicker, but I did Machine Gun Kelly to, uh, or sorry, Good Morning to Amber Rose, who was in it. Right. Amber yeah. Rose, uh, did a music video with Nicki Minaj, who did a music video with Lil Wayne. Who did a music video with Eminem? <laughs> All level. I had no shot at that one. Yeah. <laughs> I, so that was, I was getting yeah. nothing on that. <laughs> I was just mixing everything on my iPod from school, and I just sort of put it all together in my mind, and that I knew they were connected. So I got there. Um, don't feel great about that one. That one was actually much easier than I thought. I thought it would be pretty hard. List is hard. It was hard for me for sure. I, I think that uh, it, you just knew what you were doing there. Okay, but you know that was more of a music-based connection. We really want uh, movie trivia-based ones. So I'm going to go back to a classic. This one, this one is a classic, like, um, Kevin Bacon style. Okay. How we do it, but it's David Bowie to Jennifer Lopez. David Bowie to Jennifer Lopez. I in my mind, but I know they've acted in things. So that's what we're going to do. David Bowie to Jennifer Lopez. Okay. Uh, and I will count you down. Currently four to three. Let's see if you clutch it. Uh, I'm ready when you are. Down. Three, two, one. Good luck. Good luck. Okay, so David Bowie was in a star-studded cast in Zoolander. You got to start on Zoolander, I think. So you go David Bowie, Zoolander. Jennifer Lopez has been in movies. She's been in one with George Clooney. How do we get to George Clooney? George Clooney <clears throat> and Donald Trump were... Uh, Jennifer Lopez did a music video with Donald Trump. John Voight is the father of... I'm not going anywhere. Relax. Take it to Ben Stiller. 
We're going for Jennifer Lopez. Ben Stiller was in Tropic Thunder with Matthew McConaughey, who should be on the list much earlier, quite frankly. Where is my Matthew McConaughey? George Clooney. Can't go through Marvel, so don't click on Robert Downey Jr. Top cast. Where's my McConaughey? Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey and Jennifer Lopez have been in a movie together. Surely. Like How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days or something. Hustlers? Who was in Hustlers? Who was in Hustlers? Did, it, were they not in like Failure to Launch or something together? Failure to Launch? No, that's Kate Hudson. Jennifer Lopez. Okay, we're trying to get to George Clooney. George, okay, Wolf of Wall Street. Leonardo DiCaprio. Vera Farmiga is in this. I mean, The Departed. Vera Farmiga is in this. She's in Up in the Air with George Clooney. Who starred in Out of Sight with Jennifer Lopez. These are, why are these all TV shows? Where the hell's out of sight? With Jennifer Lopez. Time. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, man, dude. Oh, man. That was, that was a heartbreaker. <sighs> Uh, I would love to hear your line. I, ah, oh. There were probably... A, ben Affleck <laughs> or Matt Damon, I'm going to literally cry on stream. There, there were probably a thousand ways to do that that were better than what I did. But here's Got what it. I... I knew Jennifer Lopez. She hasn't been in... Well, in my head, I was like, she's not in that many movies. But now I'm scrolling through her filmography and I'm like, she's actually been in quite a lot. But <laughs> I was like, Jennifer Lopez was in Out of Sight with George Clooney. Now, I feel like George Clooney is a pretty easy guy to get to. So where do yeah. we start again? I can't even remember now. We started with David Bowie. David Bowie. How'd you get, I, how'd you yeah. get up Bowie? So I went David Bowie to Zoolander because it's a star-studded cast. Yes. Into Ben Stiller. Then I, did I. Okay. I got lost on Ben Stiller a little bit. But okay. then, then I thought, okay, Tropic Thunder has Matthew McConaughey. Okay. So I went to McConaughey, The Wolf of Wall Street, and this is where the line clicked. I went Wolf yeah, of Wall Street. It. Leonardo DiCaprio, The Departed, okay. Okay. Vera Farmiga, this. who played the psychologist for Leonardo I, DiCaprio. You remembered this? It, and she was the co-star in Up in the Air, which obviously has George Clooney, which gets you to Out of Sight, which Vera gets you to Farmiga Jennifer Lopez. Vera Farmiga from Departed and knew she also starred in George Clooney's Up in the Air. Then she's only that. done like three movies. She's only done The Departed. Wait, wait, how do you know her? She's done The you Departed. Know the you know her by memory. You know the name of that actress and you know She's very she's famous. Been. She's the lead actress in all the uh, Annabelle movies. That's phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> phenomenal, dude. I'm playing in the big leagues. You knew Vera Farmiga. She's what the famous. Hell She's like a little about? famous. <laughs> She's in the Conjuring movies. Oh, I I know the Caprio. You know what I'm saying? I know that fucking. I'm, oh, I did. Man. The main stall for me also was I was like, surely Matthew McConaughey during his rom com period was in a movie with Jennifer Lopez, but I couldn't think of it. And it turns yeah. out that it was just the wedding planner. So th that would have cut off like six clicks right oh, there. Oh, that direct connect. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Wow, that's phenomenal. That is, a, that is actually a pretty impressive uh, way to win. My plan was to do whatever it takes to get to Matt Damon, to get to Ben Affleck. And then I assume right. just when they had their very public connection, they'd done, I think they have done a movie together. Geely. Geely. Yeah. But they're, yeah. And they're still, they're, they're, they're dating again. Yeah, so it full, comes full circle. Geely 2, and, he, and he's dead now for the real fan. Uh, so that was my plan, and, I, and it should have been easy. I, I think I... Um, apparently, Owen Wilson was in Marry Me with J-Lo. God. So David Bowie, Zoolander, Owen Wilson, that's a five-click. Wow. That's tough, though. Marry Me? Owen Wilson and Jennifer Lopez just had a movie together? Wait, I was on Owen Wilson's page? The chat found one for me, too, which was David Bowie to Zoolander... Yeah. John Voight plays Derek Zoolander's coal mining father in Zoolander, 
and he starred in Anaconda great, with Jennifer way. Lopez. <laughs> I think that's another uh, five clicks. Also, Anaconda features Owen Wilson. That's another. That's I could have done that as well. Wait, yeah, but it also I'm features Jennifer, Jennifer Lopez. So, wait, have Jennifer Lopez and Owen Wilson been like? Wait, yeah, years? wait, that's a good point. They, they have wait, a connection Anaconda, there too. I was, oh, dude, I had two different movies on this page that I didn't click. Wow, that's a bummer. Uh, well played. I, I gotta say the the. <laughs> Like I can't remember her name. He said it five minutes ago. Vera How Farmiga. The Vera Farmiga. She's one of the modern screen, scream queens. <laughs> well played, sir. I tip my hat and I give you the crown. That is five points and a, a certified IMDb champion for the day oh, to uh, Northern Lion here. Uh, definitely, definitely, uh, I was uh, impressed. I thank was impressed. you. Thank you. Dude, this. I, I, I felt like more adrenaline doing this than anything I've streamed in, in a long time. This this got my, my limbic system It does system get your activated. brain going in a different way. I do enjoy mm -hmm. it. Uh, do you want to do one bonus round? Because there's, there's a couple. Yeah, absolutely. One more guy here, if you're not in a rush or anything, because you know, the, the guys made this whole list, and I think there's some funny stuff. Yeah, yeah. We could, we could run some uh, back for, for sport. I was thinking for sport, we could do – this one's interesting. Uh, Quentin Tarantino – to Dan Schneider, the guy that the weird, creepy guy that did all the uh, Nickelodeon, the Nickelodeon shows. foot stuff, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah <okay. Nickelodeon. laughs> uh, I think Quinn also has his own foot fetish. So right? Like yeah. Oh, ah, yeah, so, yeah. that's very clever. Okay. Connection. They uh, all have some kind of dude. You know what? The mods, if if they have already revealed to you the secrets, you should get a bonus point if you can name the connection between the beginning and the end. Oh, yeah, I mean, actually, I also have The Rock, 1996, to Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Right, it makes they, perfect sense. Yeah. Every one of these actually has a connection. There's not just some mm -hmm. of them, it's all of them. Uh, okay, Quentin Tarantino to Dan Schneider, The Foot Fetish Gambit. This one seems interesting. And uh, and I will count down. Uh, three, two, one, bonus point. Got okay, so I think it's got to be something related to... We got to find... Well, actually, I was going to say the, th the recurring theme is like a maybe a child actor somewhere. I don't know if that's actually the case. Here's what I'm thinking. Ariana Grande was a Nickelodeon star or a Disney Channel star. Frick. <laughs> but I can get to Ariana Grande so easily through Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, which would then take you to... Is there a chance Margaret Qualley was a Nickelodeon kid or, or Emil Hirsch, maybe? I don't know. Take me to... A, a Dakota Fanning was a child actress. Is there anything related to Nickelodeon here? I feel like I maybe shouldn't have gone so far back. Take me to Ocean's 8, which might star someone that was a Nickelodeon star. Take me to Mindy Kaling, who was then on the... She did the Mindy Project. <laughs> okay. Wait, Inside Out, she played Disgust. I'm just clicking, if we're being honest. Let's use our brain here, okay? How are we getting to Nickelodeon? Frank Oz is a puppeteer that has done The Muppet Show and Star Wars Episode Two: Attack of the Clones. Sesame Street to Nickelodeon? Like, it seems so doable, dude. But Sesame Street is like a pit of actors who, no offense, but don't do much else afterwards. So take me to Knives Out. How am I getting to Nickelodeon? I'm going through Michael Shannon, who was in Bad Boys, <laughs> Bad Boys One. Um, so we're getting we've we've gotten ourselves back into the '90s. If we want to be back in the '90s, excuse me. Michael Shannon, Bad Boys 1. Michael Shannon, Bad, Bad Boys 2. Sorry, Bad Boys 2. We need to get to Zoolander 2. We need to get to Ariana Grande. It's my only hope. How does one get to Zoolander 2 from here? Start me on Will Smith as Detective Mike Lowry. Will Smith in... 
I'm so screwed. <laughs> I'm not, I don't know how, how he's doing, but I'm not doing anything. I'm just clicking. Charlize Theron has been in a movie with someone who was in Zoolander 2. There's no doubt about it. We got to get, get to Owen Wilson. Get to Owen Wilson. This is producer, actress. There we go. Previous. Get to Owen Wilson. Owen Wilson. We're going to Owen Wilson. We're going to Arrested Development, which starred Michael Sarah. Now we're now we're just trying to go straight to Nickelodeon. Michael Sarah to um, Pause of Fury, which might have Ariana Grande as a voice. Who is not even a Nickelodeon star, I think. No, no, we gotta dude, we gotta get to Amanda Bynes. Amanda Bynes. Amanda Bynes. I don't know. I know movies she's been in. I don't know any co-star of any of them. Amanda Bynes. Uh, the Pete from The Adventures of Pete and Pete. We need to get to Saturday Night Live and get to Pete. We need to get to... If we can get to a Nickelodeon actor who went... Oh, no, no. I know where we got to go. We got to go to Saturday Night Live and we got to get Kenan Thompson. Okay. I mean, it shouldn't be that hard to get to Saturday Night Live. There's no way Ricky Gervais has not hosted it semi-recently. Producer, actor, give me actor in Saturday Night Live. Get me to Good Burger. Good Burger, who's the principal in Good Burger? Is Mila Jo... No, Carmen Electra's in Good Burger. Okay, hold on. I can get, I can get there. Carmen Electra's in Good, Good Burger. Sinbad is, in, is the principal. Okay, Carmen Electra's in Good Burger. How does... You get the extras... You get to David Bowie. I could do this. Extras. Which all, oh, I'm in Britain. Ben Stiller. Zoolander. And I don't want to go to Zoolander 2 anymore. I got to get to Carmen Electra. Which means I got to get to Scary Movie 3. Which means I got to get to Leslie Nielsen. I'm, no, Mila Jovovich. Wait, she's in Zoolander. Where am I going with this? Where am I going with this? Mila Jovovich. I'm in Zoolander 2 again. Okay, which gets me to Ariana Grande and Justin Bieber. Maybe I, maybe it was, oh, Owen Wilson was in, wait a minute. Who am I trying to get to Nickelodeon? Owen Wilson was in, we want Kenan Thompson. How did I end up here? Okay, just try me. Top cast. Where's, where's Ariana Grande? I know she's in the movie. Joe Jonas. Is Joe, that, they feel like, oh, they're Disney Channel, right? Ariana Grande, who's also Disney Channel. No, Nickelodeon! Okay, and then we just take it back to a show from like the... Like the mid-2000s, like, like 2007 or something. How about Nickelodeon cast Jingle Bells 2010 version? No, TV movie? Why are these all music videos? Where's her TV show? Where's your TV shows as an actress? They're all music videos, man. Okay, take me to Nickelodeon cast Jingle Bells 2010 version. And I would like to find a producer. Can I click on all cast and crew? Is that, am I allowed to click on all cast and crew? I'm, I'm looking at chat for, yes. Nay, nay, yay, yay. It's mostly yays. This is just cast. There's no crew. Okay, take me to Miranda Cosgrove, who I know is an actress from Nickelodeon. Who can then take me to iCarly, but not the 2021 version. The 2007 version. Creator Dan Schneider. I, don't, I can't believe it. Ding, 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 ding. Fuck, dude. Well played. I, Fuck. I, it was not efficient, that's for sure. Yeah. I, I, um, <laughs> I, I, uh, I tried to make Amanda it. Bynes? I tried to go through Amanda Bynes, but here's dude, the I thing. Couldn't the all that. I couldn't, yeah, I couldn't, couldn't remember any movie that she'd been in with, that I could find a second actor, you know? Yeah, like, I, I was like, 
I, yes. I, I know movies she's been in, but I don't know who number two was in the movies. Yes. So my, the same problem. my whole plan was okay. trying to get to Ariana Grande, knowing because that she was a Nickelodeon star. I didn't know that. But Oh, yeah, she did. Okay. Yeah. It, it, it took a, a very, very long time. Oh, God, I could have done Selena Gomez, too, right? She did a... Uh... Right. Oh, or is she on from the Disney Channel? I never because I was. This was past my my age. But I was on group. Rugrats. Uh, what is Rugrats connection? Rugrats was. I couldn't tell you at all. A Nick show. Angry Beavers is Nickelodeon. Well, I kept thinking I was on Cartoon Network and I was stuck. <laughs> I was right there. I passed okay, I like right, uh, right. I passed like a thousand. I I don't even know how to go back that far in my history. <laughs> oh, big fat liar with Paul Giamatti. Oh! And Big fat liar Okay, let, let oh, me. Oh, I loved that movie when I was a kid. Let me oh. let me give you mine. Right, okay, give me, let me still I, still I got. I'm I'm still hitting back in my browser to try to get there. Okay, because it it went way too far past like you know recent uh, recently looked at. Okay, okay. well I, I think it's starting from here. Okay, you ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. Quentin Tarantino. Okay. Once upon a time in Hollywood, just thinking it had a. a Ensemble cast. Yep. Big cast. So we went from there to Dakota Fanning, because I know that she was also a child actress. Oceans 8. Hope. Just This is where the we started playing some Miracle Ball. Like okay, just praying. Opium. I don't even remember yeah. where. I think I went Mindy Kaling, because you mentioned the Mindy Project. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and from Mindy Kaling, I went to, she was a voice in Inside Out, which had Frank Oz as a voice. And I was like, Frank Oz does the Muppets, so maybe there's a Muppet Nickelodeon connection. And then I lost all confidence, so I went to Knives Out from Frank Oz. From, from Knives Out to Michael Shannon, because I knew that Michael Shannon was in Bad Boys 2, which allowed me to get to Will Smith, and here I was just still doing nothing. Um, although, oh, dude, people are so right. Leonardo DiCaprio, um, don't look up. Ariana Grande cameo. That that's a very efficient line. That is very smart. Mm -hmm. Apparently, wait. Uh, once upon a time, to Austin Butler, to iCarly, to Dan mm -hmm. Schneider. It's actually a pretty quick. That's crazy. I don't know enough about Austin Butler or Ariana Grande. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, I wouldn't have got that, but that's a crazy. All right, so where, where were you? You so were I'm, on Will, Will Smith to Han, I don't know. <laughs> to Hancock to Charlize okay. Theron. To okay. Arrested Development, to Michael oh, Sarah, because I was like, he's kind of a child actor. He's, yeah, he's young looking. <laughs> and then I lost the plot again, and I'm on Pause of Fury. <laughs> yeah, I haven't found the plot yet. Pause of Fury, Ricky Gervais, because okay. I thought Ricky Gervais hosted SNL at some point, but I couldn't find it. So then I went yeah. Ricky Gervais, and then I was like, I got to get back to Zoolander, because I know Ariana Grande was in Zoolander too. So this is where it kicked in, 75 clicks in. It went ex Ricky Gervais TV show Extras, which had Ben extras. Stiller, who was in Zoolander. For some reason, I went Zoolander 1. Okay. Then I went Mila Jovovich, who was also in Zoolander 2. Then I found Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande, I could not get to Dan Schneider. So I, I went from Ariana Grande to Nickelodeon cast Jingle Bells 2010 edition. Which took me to Miranda Cosgrove, which took me to iCarly, which took me to yeah, Dan Schneider. Wow. It's a roundabout <laughs> way. Well, you did get there. And that's that, what it's about. That was very hard. Where, where did you end up? Well, I think the closest I got was Rugrats, what they're telling me. And I don't know how that... I guess they're, they're both made by Nickelodeon. So, like, if yeah, there's so a... Yeah, so you could click a director and they all... Yeah. I don't see how that connects. I don't see a good... I don't see a good tie-in. I think the real concept I had was... Um, to try and get to Amanda Bynes, and if I just remember Big Fat Liar, I, I, Paul Giamatti's not too hard to get to. He's done a lot. I'm um, realizing how how important Zoolander is to my my meta. Like, it's not that there's that many people in Zoolander. I mean, there's you got Ben Stiller, Owen Wilson, Will Ferrell, um, Donald Trump. Yeah. <laughs> Zoolander has a big cameo heavy movie, so you get. Uh, but then from there, they've been in stuff that's been in that that's been yeah. with everybody. Yeah, I think it was crazy. You were on Ben Stiller's page and got to Zoolander two through someone else. <laughs> yes, I, I mean I was so lost. I was like, <laughs> I was clicking on nothing. Like I'm on Zoolander, then I clicked on Mila Jovovich. Like, what was I thinking? No disrespect to Mila Jovovich, but I'm not trying to get to you know like a Resident Evil movie. 
Northern Dragon in chat is saying that Zoolander is kind of your your rock, and mine so far has been Fast Seven. Fast Seven. <laughs> Yeah, Fast Seven has been my my cornerstone that I get to, and I try to go from the rock to get out to wherever because he's just been in so much. Um, okay, I I think the one I wanted to close on. Someone in chat suggested this, but we need to probably pick two things ourselves. Oh, is uh, a Betchel test IMDb <laughs> race where you can only go through women. You can only okay. click on actors or directors, and we got to see who's the least sexist <laughs> in our Hollywood knowledge. <laughs> Okay, so it's gonna be a real challenge. So you can't even go through movies, uh, unless or maybe if the movie is woman led. Yeah, I guess we'll have to just by ear by the poster. <laughs> if actually, if the lead is a woman, then you're fine. If the lead yeah. is a woman, okay, and we'll yeah, the okay. lead, not yeah, like not, yeah, okay, not ensemble lead, like a lead, the lead. All right, we're gonna, yeah, as as directed by a woman or or led by a woman, like like the poster would lead with a woman. Um, you know what's okay. tough is that I I want to name a prominent woman, but that'll make it too easy. Like I think if we if we had to go like you know Meryl Streep to Charlize Theron or something like that, I'm yeah, sure we just tough. click on uh, some some boring chick flick they've both been in together. <laughs> Am I right? Uh, but no, oh, oh, no, oh. Hey, yo. Uh, I, yeah, well, you, you can end on someone big. I figured out with these things, but you kind of want to start either start with someone niche. So it's like you either have a hard time getting out or you have a hard time getting That in. makes sense. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. We need to pick somebody. Uh, oh, we could do, all right, let's start with Belle Delphine. Um, is this safe to look up on? <laughs> oh, uh, good question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm clicking it randomly. It's fine. Is it, uh, is it? Belle Delphine 2020, I'm back. Well, no, I'm on Belle Delphine, the IMDb page. From the uh, music department of Belle Delphine, I'm back 2020. Um, I was, think when you're, in, when you're in I'm back, you click on Belle Delphine as a, as a okay. full page. She was, she's famous for uh, the H3 podcast. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And Cold Ones. And so Cold Ones. That okay, there. that's true. So from Belle Delphine to... Oh, we could do um, the most popular show in the world right now. Wednesday, I have no idea. Oh, okay, <laughs> so big, and we have we to will, go through women yeah. only. Yeah, through women only from Belle Delphine to Wednesday. Okay, or, I know or, where I'm going. Ortega. What do we want to do? I guess Jenna Ortega is fine. Um, Wait, but we uh, uh, we can't use cold ones because it's. Yes, can, I'm just. Yes, can can right. we get out of Belle Delphine? Wait, how do we get out of Belle Delphine? That's actually a great question. Because H three podcast is is male not, led. Yeah, I don't know the it's official so podcast. Male -led. And the, okay, wait. This is actually a big problem. We, we're actually stuck here, so we cannot get out. It's actually impossible. So we need. Unless uh, we can get from Belle Delphine to Senzawa, <laughs> who then? Nope. I think she's stuck. Yeah, I, I think she, not get me out. That's, that's a bit of a dead end. Uh, okay. All right. Wow. Hollywood. The real problem. This is a real problem. <laughs> um, Put Zenzawa in more okay, things. We're going to call H3. Uh, uh, we're going to call H3 a dual lead. Okay. H3 I understand. Yeah. Hila Klein. So we'll do that. We'll go through H3 and you have to just figure it out. And if they can only women led things or female actors or directors or something like that. So, okay. All right. Are you ready? Let's do the it. The ultimate challenge. Loser is officially sexist. That's for the YouTube video. <laughs> Dude, my chat already knows that I am, obviously. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, three, two, one. Go. Good luck. Okay, we're trying to get the Catherine Zeta Jones. She is a woman, as Michael Douglas could tell you. So we're going. Belle Delphine to the H3 podcast, to someone who's actually famous, but we it has to also be a woman. <laughs> so I have to, um, maybe, uh, let me get all cast and crew real quick. Can I sort by people who actually have a photo? Kristen Shaw, dude, okay, she's famous. Kristen Schaal can get us into voice acting work. She is famous for Norbit, as you can see. She was in The Muppets. She's in Bob's Burgers. 
Let's let's just go with the Muppets. Oh, Cloudy with a chance of meatballs probably has a better star studded cast. Remember, we're looking for Catherine Zeta Jones, who is in The Lady Killers with Tom Hanks. Surely getting to Tom Hanks can't be that hard. You can go Jason Siegel. But he's like the star of all of his shows. Tom Hanks, Catherine Zeta Jones. What is Catherine? She's been in Entrapment with Sean Connery. Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. Family Guy seems too easy. Too far. Too far. Tom Hanks. Okay. Tenacious D in the Pick of Destiny as Frat Boy 1. To Jack Black. To Colin. Uh, to Orange County in 2001. Which stars Colin Hanks, who is one of Tom Hanks' sons. Two thousand two. Sorry to Colin Hanks. These are men. Take me back. I I, I forgot. Belle Delphine. I was so sure I was killing it, man. Okay, I forgot. <laughs> Completely forgot the premise. You know what's messed up? We were there too. We were there. Okay, so we're going Belle Delphine into the H three podcast into. Kristen Schaal, okay, this is where I lost it. Kristen Schaal, into a movie, it has to be led by a woman, or it has to be another woman. So we have to find, I don't know how we get out of here. <laughs> we have to find a movie that she was in, or a show that she was in, that appears to be led by a woman, because I can't click on anybody else. Probably not the last man on earth. Um, how about the hot wives of Las Vegas? <laughs> I'm trying to get to Catherine Zeta Jones. And it has to be through a woman. And I don't know who any of these people are. So I'm going, I'm hoping there was a cameo. Oh, wait, I see Angela Kinsey from The Office, but I don't know how we're going to. I don't know how we're going to get there, man. Wait, I. I <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, okay? Here's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say we're going Angela Kinsey from The Office into Pam from The Office. But how do we get to Pam from here? Now, no, no, now I'm stuck. I got to go through the damn, uh, what's that? Uh, I got to go through Miranda Sings, man. I got to go through fucking Haters Back Off. How am I going to go? Okay, so I'm in Haters Back Off, the Miranda Sings TV show. Which starred, of course, Colleen Ballinger as Miranda sings. And now I got I, I got to find a show. <laughs> that, oh no, dude, I'm lost. I guess I got to uh, somehow I'm on JoJo Siwa's Dream Birthday, which is obviously female led. I feel like if I could get just if I could just get the Ocean's Eight, this whole thing could could come together, man. Can I get the Aquafina and get the Ocean's Eight somehow? Smosh Babies? Victorious Miranda Sings? This is a Nickelodeon TV show. Okay, hold on. I can get myself out. Victorious, I, I've, been, I've been told, is woman-led. Victorious into the most... Uh, Ariana Grande. I'm trying to get to Ocean's 8. <laughs> and somehow that's going to get me to Catherine Zeta-Jones. Charlie's Angels is a woman-led picture. But was she in Ocean's 8? Bro, she makes too many music videos. Zoolander 2, Latex BDSM? <laughs> it's impossible, man. Okay, so she was in Charlie's Angels from 2019. She was part of the music department. This allows us to get to a famous woman. A lot of, lot of famous women here. Kristen Stewart obviously is amongst them. We got to think about how we get back. I'm thinking like Elizabeth Banks has been in some stuff too. Don't get me wrong. I mean, Elizabeth Banks, because she was the director. Hunger Games is female led. Now, get me to Ocean's 8, you piece of shit.
I'm going, I'm, I'm in Jennifer Lawrence. Surely there's a way to get the Ocean's 8 via a woman here. Or just to get to Catherine Zeta-Jones. So oh, I got something. Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1 takes us to Julianne Moore, who has been in some shit with Catherine Zeta. Where am I even trying to get? What's the end of this? I'm trying to get to Wednesday. Okay, Julie or Jenna Ortega. Julianne Moore has been in some shit. She's been in, I gotta get to Chicago, but it's not Julianne Moore, it's Reese Witherspoon. I gotta get to get Chicago. I gotta find a way to get to Chicago. Boogie Nights is not female-led. Magnolia, listen, it's an ensemble cast, okay? Because we can't go through Tom Hanks anymore. We can't go through Tom Hanks anymore. Put me on, I don't know, I gotta think about this. Just scroll me down. What would I? What did I just say? I've got to get to. I got to get to Chicago. I've got to get to Reese, not Reese Witherspoon. I got to get to Renee Zellweger, through a woman somehow. <laughs> it can't be done, man. It's tough. It's a tough one. It's not an easy one. I'm thinking. I'm just thinking. I'm running it through my head, okay? I do feel like it's possible that inside Amy Schumer might have had some prominent female came cameos. I don't know why I said it like that. Amber Tamblyn. That can get us to the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. Is it possible that Catherine Zeta-Jones played your mom in the, Sister of the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants? We're going Amber Tamblyn. We're going Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. I'm going to say two. Let's just try two. Blythe Danner, there's, I can't, it's, it's, it can't be done, okay? I don't want to end up in an Alexis Bledel hole here, though. So I'm trying to figure out how the hell we're going to get out of this. What the heck? This is the guy from, uh, from Detroit, Become Human. Okay, I'm going Blythe Danner, and I'm hoping that she's in some old movies. It's old, older, older than this. She's the mom from Meet the Fockers. Can you take me back to, uh, I got to find a woman-led film. I mean, a woman on the poster, I don't know. How do you feel about forces of nature? I feel like this is a Sandra Bullock-led film. But I, I can't tell if, if maybe the man's top build, which would I, would I would have to pass on it. That's, I, I, I'm getting nay, and I'm trusting nay, Okay. So I, I think I'm taking myself back and I'm going I'm going back to the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants too because I got to escape. And then I'm, I'm doing a little check. I'm going Alexis Bledel and then I'm going Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants 1. Unless Tuck Everlasting possibly. Well, that's not a woman-led thing. Gilmore Girls, it, it feels like it could get you there, but we can get back. Start me on the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants 1. A, a horrendous supporting cast. <laughs> so take me back to Alexis Bledel. Take me to Gilmore Girls and find me a prominent female cameo, please. Or a prominent female... Okay, Sally Struthers, she's been in a lot of stuff. I gotta go to the bathroom. I feel like if I go to the bathroom, though, I might come back and he's, he's dinged. Why am I on Sally Struthers, man? Sally Struthers into Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Into... Come on. This should count. He directed the all-female Ghostbusters. Into Melissa Joan Hart. And now I know where I have to go. I have to go into like God's Not Dead or something like that. I gotta go into freaking Clarissa Explains It All. Gotta go into Broadcasting Christmas. Like, where am I? Where am I here? Hey, wait, Law & Order SVU, Mariska Hargitay. Mariska Hargitay, she's the lead. Mariska Hargitay. 
And then find me a way out. Find me a way to get to Renee Zellweger or Catherine Zeta-Jones, which can then get us to Catherine Zeta-Jones, which could take us to the end. Okay. But what, Mariska Hargitay, what have you been in except for this? You've been doing this show for 24 straight years. You're telling me there wasn't like one episode of a cameo where Catherine Zeta-Jones played like a dead body or something? I don't want to see cast and crew directors. I can't go back now, though. I gotta dude, scroll me. Do you see the size of the scroll bar? It's freaking huge, man. Okay, series cast. Can I get some pictures, please? Can I get some pictures? Scroll down into like the two episode camp and then see pictures, 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 pictures. Four episodes. I'm comfortable being here. Celebrities don't do this show for a long time. They just become bit players. Pictures, 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 pictures. N none of them have real pictures. Detective Jet Sloot Makers 2? Are you, are you serious with this? Okay, I'm scrolling all the way back up. And you, you oh, oh, what have I done? You know where I'm going with this. I'm going back to Mariska, Mariska Hargitay. I'm trying to figure out how the hell I'm going to get out of here. What has she done except for this? Like almost nothing. She's done Chicago PD. If I could just somehow get to Chicago from Chicago PD. But I don't think that's something that she led. She's only in it for three episodes, so I don't think it passes the test. Okay, maybe Ellen. Ellen can get us somewhere. Hey, what the heck? Ellen. Star-studded cast featuring such actresses as Ellen and nobody else. Okay, so we're going Ellen DeGeneres, who had the Ellen TV show, known for the Ellen DeGeneres show. Top cast. Hold it in. We got, we got a line. There's no way that Renee Zellweger was not on this motherfucking show. No, Catherine Zeta-Jones, I don't know. She was doing other stuff, maybe. Oh, my God. It's loading the page. It's going to take 10 years. It's going to take 10 years to load the page. I got to go to the bathroom so bad. Okay. Series cast. I have The pictures aren't loading, so I just have to use my eyes. We're looking for Reese Witherspoon. No, we're looking for Catherine Zeta-Jones or Renee Zellweger. This could take forever. <laughs> Either pictures are so small, it's not like it would really help me. Catherine Zeta Jones, Renee Zellweger. I might miss it, by the way. I might, but I'm, I'm scrolling. Julianne Moore, we could have got here a lot faster. Catherine, Renee. Catherine, Renee. Catherine or Renee? Catherine, Renee. What other movie has Catherine Zeta-Jones been in? Entrapment? She's in The Legend of Zorro. But how could we get through the legend of Zorro? Because it's not led by a woman. <laughs> it's led by Zorro. Wait, Julia Roberts. <laughs> I mean, there's, it's so, Julia Roberts, Ocean's Eleven, George Clooney, Intolerable Cruelty, Catherine Zeta-Jones, Wednesday, Jenna Ortega. The end. That's the easiest play in the world. Like, it's, if you could use a woman, you could get there in two seconds. Or if you could, if you could use men, you could get there in two seconds. But you, you need to find a way to get there through... Things that only connect via women. So we're looking for Renee and we're looking for Catherine. Looking for Renee and Catherine. Judge Judith Scheinlin. I've reabsorbed all of my piss, so I'm, I'm ready to go. Renee and Catherine. Renee and Catherine. 
we just got to scroll. I mean, they got they got big stars down here with four episodes. So you never know. You can't just be like, oh, they, she hasn't been on enough episodes. Scroll up. Or you, Colin Hanks to Tom Hanks to the Lady Killers to Catherine Zeta-Jones to Wednesday to Jenna Ortega. Rita Wilson is fucking married to Tom Hanks. Rita Wilson, Tom Hanks. The Lady Killers, Catherine Zeta-Jones, Wednesday, Jenna Ortega. Shit never ends, man. Renee, Catherine. Renee or Catherine? Renee or Catherine? Kate Beckinsale also feels like we could take a flyer. You're telling me she hasn't done something woman-led with Catherine Zeta-Jones? The Dixie Chicks? Renee and Catherine. Renee and Catherine. <laughs> Renee, oh no, dude. And Catherine. Are they at least, if they could be in like alphabetical order or something, that would help me out a great deal. Danica Patrick. Does Danica Patrick in like Ocean's 8? That seems plausible to me. The Killers to the Lady Killers to Leonardo DiCaprio debased himself by coming on the show. There's Damon John again. We got all the members of BTS. Renee. Catherine O'Hara. Renee. And Catherine. Renee and Catherine, Timothy Chalamet, Warren Sapp, musical guest, Florence and the Machine, Iggy Azalea, the Tonga Sisters, Mayim Bialik, who is on Jeopardy to celebrate. Celebrity Jeopardy is not female led, you piece. Renee. And Catherine. Chingy! Rachel Bilson. Jason Alexander. Angelina Jolie. You Angelina Jolie and Renee Zellweger have done a movie together. Please. There's no doubt. I, I gotta get out of this Ellen hole, man. And Angel Angelina Jolie is like the lead of every movie she's ever been in. Okay. Oh! Catherine Zeta-Jones, I don't believe it. I actually don't believe it. Wednesday, Jenna Ortega. Holy shit. Ding, ding, ding. Dude, I'm glad you got it, because I, I was actually not... It wasn't coming together for me. I'm, not, I'm a sexist. <laughs> I'm not going to waste your time with the first Dude, uh, yeah, seven. Yeah. Tell uh, me when you found the line. Okay, Tell the, me when you found the line because I, I I, couldn't get anything. Dude, can I can I say something yeah, embarrassing? Yeah. <laughs> I don't even want to say it, dude. I'm actually deeply embarrassed. I'm sitting here slamming my head against the keyboard. I can't remember the name. Finish the sentence. Okay. Tim Burton uses two actors in every movie. Johnny Depp and blank. Helena Bonham Carter. God damn it, it's Helena Bonham Carter. <laughs> oh my God. But the problem I is, don't... this is what I found out, is Dude, even if I you get think... Helena Bonham Carter, where do you yes. go from that? Because now you're on her, you got to find a movie where she's the lead actor. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. No, I, I, that, that was my goal the whole time, was just get to her and maybe I'll... Uh, well, yeah, I wanted to see where a movie where she was in like a Tim Burton movie maybe where – I don't know. I actually don't know because I can't go to Tim Burton. I, don't, I, don't, I had no plan. But I was so stumped by the name Helena Bottom Carter, which is a name that I know. I couldn't think of it, and I and it ruined me. I was literally screaming at the top of my lungs. So, so here's line, how I – okay, I spent yeah. the first eight minutes forgetting Just that it had to be wondering. women. So I found yeah. a line with men and then restarted. So yeah, I don't okay. really remember how I got here, but at okay. some point – I ended up at Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, okay. which took me to Alexis Bledel. Okay. Took me to Gilmore Girls. Okay. Little detour through Sally Struthers for no reason. Um, okay. Sabrina the Teenage Witch, she, Sally Struthers was on that apparently, which starred right. Melissa Joan Hart, mm -hmm. who was a, did a cameo appearance on Law & Order SVU starring Mariska Hargitay. 
Okay. Mar- then I went to Mariska Hargitay, who was on the Ellen sitcom in the 90s, which took me to Ellen DeGeneres, which took me to the Ellen DeGeneres show, scrolled through everyone who had ever been on the Ellen DeGeneres show until I found Catherine Zeta-Jones, who plays Morticia Adams on Wednesday, starring Jenna Ortega. Yes. God damn it. Well played. You went through Ellen... I scrolled, you don't want to know how many hundreds of actors I scrolled by. To, and oh, guest appearance in the history of the Ellen show. The whole time I was oh. just going, you know, like Catherine, Catherine, Catherine. And I was like, Reese uh, or Renee, Renee Zellweger, because I know she's in Chicago with Catherine Zeta Jones. I was like, Cat- Catherine, Reese, Cat- Renee, yeah. Renee. That's impressive. That is a good line. Because really, when it comes to talk shows, your options are like Ellen or, or Oprah. Like, what, where are yeah. you going to get the Catherine? Yeah, that's, hmm, that's impressive. I've, I've been told, as, at some point I found myself on, it was, fa- I found myself back to Ariana Grande really early. And then um, Ariana Grande was a musical star of Charlie's Angels. Apparently, from that, really? I could have found my, the, the most recent Charlie's Angels. Oh, uh, yeah. Apparently, I could, from that, I could have found my way to, Old Charlie's Angels, Lucy Liu. Lucy Liu is in Chicago with Catherine Zeta-Jones, who plays Morticia mm-hmm. Adams on Wednesday, which stars yeah, Jenna yeah. Ortega. Yeah. Who, what what, what nice. else? Have, like, is the Catherine Zeta-Jones the only route in? I'm trying to figure it out. Uh, Wendell and Christie. I, I only knew her and Jenna Ortega as female stars of Wednesday, and I don't know who Jenna Ortega is. I just know what she looks like. <laughs> Yeah, I couldn't picture. I don't know nothing else Jenna Ortega's been in, so I couldn't do that. Wednesday or uh, Wendell and Christie. Yeah, there's nothing she's in that I would call female led. I'm yeah, thinking. that that was tough. That was a really tough one. I I I I mean, I, I was struggling with the basics. I couldn't remember Hilda Bonham Carter, but I couldn't I couldn't find clean routes anywhere. It was tough. Hollywood definitely male dominated from my for from sure. my day. And, and I'm the first okay. person to notice that. I'm the first person to notice that <laughs> based on this. Um, anyway, uh, that was, oh, we took, we took a lot of your time. And I appreciate you coming on. That I was had really a great fun. time. Uh, I had an amazing time. Thanks for doing it. Thanks for taking the championship. Uh, well-deserved. I was truly blown away. And uh, if you ever want to do it again, we can do Wikipedia raises or anything else. We had a lot of other stuff, but um, appreciate you doing that today. That was a lot of fun and uh, had a good time. Dude, I'd be down a hundred percent. I had a great time. All right, man. Take it easy. Thanks yep. again. Later. Later. Peace. Okay, chat.